So a stroke is when um, something occludes the blood flow to the vessels in the brain, the arteries in the brain, and that causes um, death of the brain tissue. And there are two types of stroke. There's a hemorrhagic stroke, which is uh, a bleed in the brain. So for example, aneurysm can bust open and blood flows out into the brain instead of to the but through the arteries to the brain tissue. And then there's an ischemic stroke or an embolic stroke where something floats into the artery like plaque or an embolus and stops blood flow to, from that artery to the brain. So an ischemic stroke can be long-term or it can be what they call a TIA, which is what some people refer to as a mini stroke. And um, so that is by definition lasts less than 24 hours. So it, you will see the signs and symptoms of stroke, but then it resolves quickly. It doesn't mean you don't need to call 911 and get help. Um, one third of patients who have a TIA will go ahead and have a full on stroke within a year. So that's a warning sign to you. You need to get help, something's going on, don't ignore it. So the American Heart Association has put together an acronym to uh, for people to recognize the signs and symptoms of a stroke. And it's F-A-S-T, FAST, so FAST in recognizing. The F is stands for uh, facial drooping, so it's often called a crooked smile. So if you are with somebody and, and you see that they can't smile equally or uh, nurses sometimes will have patients stick their tongue out to see if it stays in the middle. So those are kind of some quick little tests to ask them to smile or stick their tongue out. A stands for arm, droop arm movement. So um, if you ask them to hold their arms out straight, one or another arm will drift down and they can't hold it out straight. Or there's um, acute weakening or grip strength, they can't hold things and it's normally only on one side of the body. And S is for speech, so again, slurred speech, um, the inability to speak, um, the patient is confused, so that, that would be another indication. And the patient may not have all of these things at once, um, but when you see these things, the, the T is for time, so when you see these things, make sure and make a note of what time the symptoms started. It's critical in the treatment on the back end, our, our, our end when we get the patient here in the hospital, to know what time the symptoms started. Mm -hmm.